Hey everybody, Mr. Petito here, and I'm, today I'm going to show you how to use Explain Everything to turn in uh, video evidence of your work. It's possible that your teachers are asking you to do something like this, that way they can actually hear that it's you completing your work, right? So once you've launched Explain Everything, you can install it from self-service. Uh, go ahead and go to New Project, and then a blank canvas. And now you have plenty of space for you to uh, do your work. You can see that the bottom right hand corner, you can add multiple pages. So if your teacher is asking you to do like three or four or five problems, you can actually have each problem on its own page. So just tap the little plus button down there to add some more pages. And once you do, you can now see how many pages you have and which page you're on. And you can toggle between those pages like so. So I'll go back to the first page here. You see I have a black background right now, so it means I'd have to use some sort of colorful pen. Uh, if you want to go to a white background so you can use a black pen, uh, just tap on the page and then tap on those colors. And you can switch your background color to whatever you'd like it to be. I'm going to stick with black and use a fun color instead. Then just hit done in the top right hand corner. Okay, your pens are located on the left hand side. I can tap a pen and then I can tap a color. And if you tap a color again, you can actually change that color to whatever color you want. So if you want a pink pen, choose pink, right? And you can add more colors by hitting the plus and choosing exactly which color you want. All right. Okay, from here, then you can start writing out your problems. So at the top, I'm just using my stylus here. And at the top, I'm going to write out my first problem, maybe like something 3x plus 7 equals uh, 10. Okay. Then... On a next page, you can go and write out your next problem. So on page two of three, I write out my next problem here. 15x plus uh, 30 equals zero, and so forth. So basically, you're setting the stage. I recommend if uh, writing out all your problems and getting all your pages set up ahead of time before you actually record yourself. All right, once you've done that, so maybe I have one more. Let's do a third problem here. Uh, 4x plus 16 equals 2. Okay. All right. I'm going to go back to the first page here, and now I can begin my recording. To record, you simply tap the record button at the bottom, and it will record what you're doing as well as what you're saying at the same time and explain everything. All right. So here, let me solve this problem for us. I'm going to hit record. Right, and now you're going to record uh, what you're saying. So here, 3x plus 7 equals 10. So the first thing I'm going to do is subtract 7 from both sides. And now I'll have 3x equals 3. Now I'm going to divide 3 from both sides, and I have x equals 1. Okay, I'm going to pause my recording by hitting pause at the bottom. Okay. And then I can actually resume my recording if I wanted to by hitting the record button again. Or if I'm done with this, I can just go on to the next problem by switching my page. And I can start a new recording. All right, for my second problem, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to subtract 30 from both sides. So I have 15x equals negative 30. And I'll divide 15 from both sides. So I have x equals negative 2. And again, you can pause or stop your recording. Um, if you're done recording altogether, you can just stop. If you're planning on continuing, maybe you're collecting your thoughts before you go on, you can pause. Right? I will stop the recording because I'm done there. And then I can go on to my third page. All right, same thing, record. All right, so 4x plus 16 equals 2. First thing I have to do is subtract 16 from both sides. And then I, it leaves me with 4x equals um, negative 14. And then x equals... Uh, negative 14 over 4, but that could be simplified. So I have x equals negative 7 halves, like so. Stop. All right, so then it's, uh, once you've completed all of this, you can uh, export this as a video for your teachers to view. So in the top right-hand corner, I'm going to hit the Share button. It's that blue one up there. So I'll choose Video. And then what it's going to do is ask me for a place to save it. I'm just going to save it to my photos here. And you'll see that my video is now processing. Once it gets all the way to 100%, uh, you'll now have that video in your photos library. So let's go ahead and view that now. I'll hit OK. And I'll go to my photos. And that video should now be available here. 
and I can play the video to preview what it sounds what like. Saying. So here, three. X okay, and when I'm ready to, you see that that's actually it's actually going. So yeah, I merged all three pages together, which is pretty neat. All right, and uh, all I have to do now is just share this with my teacher. Now this might be a kind of a lengthy video, so I highly recommend when you go to share this video that you share it to Google Drive, okay? To share it to Google Drive, you have to select which folder it belongs to as well. So for now, I'll just put it in my My Drive, but if you actually have a math folder or a science folder or a Spanish folder, uh, put it in that folder, right? So I'll, I'll just select my My Drive for now though. I'll save here and then upload. So now that video file is living as a file in Google Drive. And that means that that file can also be shared just like a Google, uh, Google Doc. So if your teacher wants you to email them the video, well, then you can just email them the link to that file. If they're asking you to hand in that file, that video file via PowerSchool Learning, then you can just hand it in. You can do attach from Google and find the file that's living in your Google Drive and attach it that way. All right. If you need any help or if you have any questions, feel free to email me at robert.petito at woodward.edu. And as always, thanks for watching.